I've been preaching that the Kansas City Chiefs, they need to go out there. They need to make a move for a pass rusher. They need to help replace D Ford and Justin Houston on their defense. They go out, they trade for Emmanuel Ogba. Now, he's not Justin Houston. He is not D Ford, but he does help the Chiefs' new defense and their new scheme, and he fits in quite well with his ability and his versatility to play a little bit inside, he can play a little bit outside, and in return, the Cleveland Browns get a safety in Eric Murray, so I think this move helps out both teams. The Browns looking for a little bit of safety help. They did move on from Jabril Peppers, and they're just looking for secondary talent in general, and a little bit of a project in Eric Murray, a player that's a little bit corner safety hybrid. They bring him in from the Chiefs, and in return, Emmanuel Ogba goes to the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs win this trade. I think Ogba is a more talented player than Eric Murray, and he has a little bit more success under his belt. He's proven a little bit more in the NFL, but it's not by a lot. And I think both teams do help each other in terms of, okay, the Chiefs, we know they needed a pass rusher. We know they needed to help replace those big boys. And in terms of the Browns, we know that they brought in Olivier Vernon. They were looking to move on from Ogba. He wasn't in the plans going forward. So they at least get a prospect, a guy in return that can help their roster potentially in a depth type of role. Now, Murray did play quite a few snaps last season for the Chiefs, being that the Chiefs had some injuries at safety. They had some pretty bad play at safety. And Eric uh, Eric Berry was out for a lot of the season last year for the Kansas City Chiefs. So... Eric Murray has some experience in the NFL playing regular snaps. So that does help the Browns, a position at safety that they kind of didn't have a lot of depth at after trading Peppers. And still, I don't think it's one of their stronger positions whatsoever, but it's a position that's upgraded nonetheless. Now, Ogba, they were willing to let go of because he wasn't going to be in a starting role. He wasn't going to start along their defensive line. But for the Chiefs, He's probably going to start or at least play significant snaps for them. Looking at both teams and both players, Emmanuel Ogba, he is currently born in 93, 25 years old, so he's still basically in the prime of his career. He's had three seasons in the NFL, playing 16 games only once, 14 this past season, and 10 in 2017. He forced two forced fumbles in 2017, zero the rest of his career. But overall, his most successful season was by far his rookie year in 2016 when he played all 16 games. He had three pass deflections, five and a half sacks, 53 tackles, 16 quarterback hits. He was drafted pretty highly. And I think they early on expected him to do some big things. But that didn't really turn out. I, I think he's been a very inconsistent guy at the NFL level. He was drafted at 32nd overall in the 2016 NFL draft, which ended up being the second round because I don't think the Patriots had a first round pick that year, but that's a second round pick technically. But he was 32nd overall, so that's basically first first round. And Ogba, he just never really seemed to work out with the Browns, maybe with a fresh start. In Kansas City, he can be a good player because he has a lot of talent, just pure physically. He has the speed. He has the quickness for the position. He has the build. He has this kind of hybrid sort of body. And maybe that's part of the problem for the Browns is they never really knew where to properly play him and place him. But this past season, he had just an okay average season. Three sacks, 40 tackles, eight quarterback hits. I think he can help the Chiefs, though, uh, because when looking at the Chiefs' depth along the defensive line, it was pretty bad. They have Chris Jones, who's a stud, all-star, one of the best in the league at his position. He plays more of a nose tackle. Sometimes he shades at end a little bit in their scheme, but they're, they're changing their defensive scheme in general. So what it's probably going to look like is Ogba is going to play a little bit inside, a little bit outside on the edge. You have Alex Okafor, who's definitely an edge player. I think you're going to see Breland Speaks also play on the edge, who had some promise in his rookie year at times. And then they're going to mix and match with whoever plays beside Chris Jones in the inside if they're going to play a four-man front. 
they can do a lot of different things. Now, they, they've definitely changed with Steve Spagnolo. He's traditionally been more of a four-man front type of defense, and I expect them to do so. And I expect Ogba to kind of play a little bit of everywhere, and maybe what Spagnolo's looking to do with him is a little bit of what he used to do with, like, Justin Tuck with the Giants, you know, move him a little bit inside, move him a little bit outside, because he does have that body and he does have that athleticism to do both. So potentially that's what you could see if you're a Chiefs fan to do that sort of thing with Emmanuel Ogba and hopefully he can play better in a new situation in Kansas City and hopefully under some new coaching he can get his potential really found in Kansas City. As for Eric Murray, I mean, I've never really been a huge fan. I, I All I can really say about him is that he is very athletic. Um, he is still very young. He does have some promise. He's played corner. He's played safety. 2016, he played all 16 games, but didn't really play on defense. He played a little bit on defense in 2017 at 23 years old with five pass deflections, one sack, 30 tackles. In 2018, he played quite a bit, started nine games, played 15 in total, 55 tackles, but he doesn't make a lot of game-changing plays. He's basically, at best, a third safety for you. He can play maybe a depth corner role if you want to. He can play some special teams if you need to. Looking at the PFF grades for each player, Ogbo is ranked 84th at his position, which is not good, and Murray was ranked 50th, which is like a depth player. So this is a depth move by both teams, but I think what the Browns are getting in Murray is a little bit less than what the Chiefs are getting in Ogba. But at the same time, both teams are going to help each other out by addressing their collective needs. So let me know in the comment section below, who do you think won this trade? Am I right by slightly leaning towards the Chiefs? Or do you think that the Browns actually won this trade by getting Eric Murray and letting go of Ogba? Both teams are sitting in a nice position for the draft by adding a player at a position of need that they don't necessarily now have to draft later in the in the deep parts of the deep rounds in the draft. Let me know in the comment section who won the trade, what you think of the trade, Gronk spike the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It's Mitch at the Bottom Line View. Peace out.